Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and this is today's look. Super fresh, highlighted with a little pop of pink. I'm starting out by priming just the cheek area of my face with a Radiance Primer. This is from Japanesque. This is going to enhance the highlight and just get the skin um, glowing underneath. Um, and I'm applying that with my fingertips, and please ignore the lighting right now. Everything will work itself out in just a minute, I promise. For foundation today, I'm mixing a little bit. I'm using the tinted moisturizer called Quenchin Tint from Laura Geller in the lightest shade with a little bit of my Lancome Tonsito Ultra for a little bit more coverage and a little bit more long wear. And I'm sort of dotting that all with my fingers and then blending it in with a small stippling brush. Then going with a large stippling brush and just hitting the neck and the ears to make sure all of the skin is evened out. To brighten up any shadowy areas on the face, I'm taking the new Maybelline Master Camo Color Corrector. And this is the pink shade. I'm applying that right to the very inner corners of my eyes, under the lip, across the cupid's bow, and a little bit underneath my nostrils. And also onto the corner of the eyes, this light pink shade just really brightens up the skin. And I'm just blending that into place with my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm using a combination of blending and patting motions. The patting is going to give a little bit more full coverage in just those areas where I need it, where as the circular blending motions are going to make sure there's no harsh edges on the makeup. And to conceal over the color corrector, I'm using my Onomi concealer, and I'm just putting a tiny bit right around the eye area, and then using my fingers to sort of spread it out before going back in with that Real Techniques brush. I'm also going to take excess from my finger just around the center of the face. Because I'm working with powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight today, I am going to set my whole face, but I'm using a very radiant, smoothing powder. This is the Absolute Powder in the shade Pearl, and I'm just applying a very thin layer of that all over my skin. And then to start warming everything up, I'm taking my favorite bronzer of the moment. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. And I'm taking that in the usual areas, right across the hairline and forehead, onto the cheeks. I'm sort of bronzing a little bit, taking it under and over the cheekbone, and then across the nose because I do want to look rather sun-kissed. And of course down onto my neck as well. For blush today, something nice and bright, a little bit brighter than I would normally go, but this is kind of tie-in with the lipstick. That's going right on the apples of the cheek, a little bit across the nose, and then blended around the edge of the forehead. And now I'm just going to absolutely pack highlighter all over my face, starting on the cheekbones. This is the new dual finish highlighter from Lancome in the shade Shimmering Buff. This is the lightest color they do. I just ordered this, just came in, and of course I had to put it on my face immediately. It's super stunning. It's nice and pearlescent. It is intense without being chunky glittery. And I'm, again, putting that all over my face. Got the usual suspects for the brows. I've done my brow routine in every video for the last ever and ever, so I'm just gonna kinda whiz through this. I'm just filling in any gaps and spaces on my brows. I'm having mega focusing issues from here on out in the video, um, but just filling in my brows quite naturally, quite full and fluffy, and then going over with clear gel just to give hold and more texture to the brows. For eyes today, I have a brand new palette from Laura Geller. This is from their New York collection, and I think this one is called Uptown Chic. I'm starting with this sort of dusty rose color right through the socket line and underneath the eye, and then grabbing this nice champagne shimmer and just sweeping that very gently across the lid. And then for a little pop, I'm gonna go back to that highlighter and just pop that right in the center of the lid and also in the inner corner of my eyes. After giving my lashes a good curl, I'm taking the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy in brown. And again, focusing issues, I'm so sorry, but I'm just pressing this right into the roots of my lashes, um, sort of tight lining as well as coating my lashes with a very thin coat of this. I just want to darken my natural lash, but not add a ton of um, thickness or volume or length, just darken my natural lashes.
I'm all for subtlety and I love how super subtle this is, especially with such a strong highlight and a bright lip color. It just lets the focus be on the rest of the makeup. For lips, I'm choosing Elizabeth Arden Pink Vibrations. This is the most beautiful neon hot pink. I'm using it more of a stain today, so I am pressing that in with my fingers and really working it into the lips. And then I'm going to put a little bit of balm over it just to kind of work it in a little bit further. This is the Honest Beauty uh, Everything Balm or uh, something balm. And just using my fingertips to blend and blend and blend. And that is it. That's the final look. I absolutely love this. Look at that highlight. Oh my gosh, I just love this look. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have anything you'd like to see in the future. Um, make sure you're subscribed by clicking on the icon of my face that you will see on the right hand side of your screen now. And make sure that you check out the playlist linked on screen as well for some of my more recent videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!